Hello guys, it's Elmer, your pile protection guy. Welcome back to this channel. We're going to talk about fire brigade connection of a fire indicating panel or FDIC, FDCIE or fire detection control indicating equipment. So watch this video. This is a Petronix F100A fire indicating panel. This is a monitored fire indicating panel or FIE. The fire alarm activation or a fault activation in the fire system is monitored by an alarm signal equipment, an ASE which is the monitoring company, is the ADT file monitoring. To get access to this ASE, you need to have a registered ASE keys. In this case, we're going to do and plug in my ASE key. So this is registered under my name. Once you plug it in, it automatically goes to a test mode. You're allowed two hours to do whatever you want to do in the file indicating panel or FIP. Inside this FIP, there is two terminal bolt free relay. One is for fire and one is for fault monitoring. New fire panel nowadays are have also an isolate monitoring relay. So fire, fault, and should be a next one isolate because this is an older version, so it still comply with the previous standard. Now to test the fire indicating panel for any alarm, we're going to just probe initiate through that relay. Okay, so we don't need to make or create any noise. For the meantime, let's isolate all the auxiliaries just in case while we're here. Okay, now we are, a system is on a test mode. Temporarily, we're going to plug off the fire relay. It's connected to a normally close. So once we pull that relay out, pull that out. This is only for test purposes. We're going to have an alarm. Okay, it's blinking and steady. When it says steady, that means the system is on alarm. Now let us let us initiate a fault. Okay, that's the fault. We plug off the fault in terminal, and then the fault light came up. So that will remain on alarm and a fault condition until the fire panel is clear of any alarm or fault. So let's plug this thing back. So you remember that the ASE is on a test mode. So that's what happened after you, after all the faults and alarm are cleared. It will remain blinking. So, since we are on a test mode, what happens here is any signals, any signal in the ASE will be sent to an ADT fire monitoring when you are on a test mode. Okay, if you are not on a test mode or whatever the status, you, you don't have the keys. Okay, this signal, the alarm will go to the fire brigade straight away and the fault signal will go to ADT file monitoring as well, but an, you, the owner of the building will receive an email or a fault notice. Now, we are in a test mode. This is what happened when you pull out your keys on a test mode status. Okay. That will automatically clear. Okay. Now we're going to put the our isolating key to a isolate mode. So we press that, press that, press that, and then we got the isolate mode. This is what will happen if we have an alarm or fault in the file system. 
In an isolate mode, you're allowed 12 hours. If you forgot your keys for 12 hours there, it automatically reset itself. So there will be no more isolation, even though your keys are here. Okay, for purposes of testing, we're going to plug out the alarm and the fault. Fault terminal block. So there's a terminal block. Look what happened again. The alarm and the fault LED light is on. Okay, so I'm going to plug in both the terminal versus the fault. You will see it's blinking and it cleared itself because this is on an isolate mode. And then the alarm. We plug it in and then the alarm LED clear itself because you are again in an isolate mode. So that's the difference between the test mode and the isolate mode. Anything that happens in the fire panel when you're in isolate mode will not be trans transmitted or received by ADT fire monitoring because you are totally isolating this box from them. Okay, the only thing that they can receive is the isolate mode signal. That's it. A bit of information. When you have an active alarm and an active fault in the ASE, never, never remove your key. Because once you remove your key, those alarm and fault will send automatically to ADT. And if an alarm, the fire brigade will be coming. Even though you replug or plug in again your isolating key, it's too late. They are going to come. I hope you learned something today. So, there are other ASE available in Australia. One is Rontec and the other one is Chubb. Which their job is cold red. We're going to discuss that in the future. So right now you only learn the ADT file monitoring ASE. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. This is Elmer again, your fire protection guy.